So amidst much hype, Casio recently released a new series of transparent analog digital watches from their most popular models. You can find these new so-called skeleton models on the G-Shock website. The GA900, the GA2000, and the GA110 come decked out in transparent gray. And the GA700, the DW5600, and the GA2100 are sporting the new transparent white resin bezels and bands. The most popular of this lineup is, of course, the GA2100 SKE-7A, which is currently sold out and going for upwards of $250 on eBay, which is insane. But it certainly is a sharp-looking watch, and as a fan of transparent watches, I just had to pick it up. Alongside that, I also picked up the DW5600 SKE-7 with its negative display and blacked-out dial. I paid $110 for each watch. So, welcome back Casio lovers. Let's do a quick rest check. Today I am sporting the DW5600 SK. This is the one with the mirrored dial, and I have an aftermarket stainless steel bezel and a red transparent jelly band, which I think looks pretty cool. So I'm wearing that one today. But I just received these two boxes in the mail, and I wanted to upload a quick unboxing to give you a first-hand look at both of them. Of course, neither of these models have Tough Solar, Multiband 6, or Bluetooth, but they are both, of course, G-Shocks. And the GA2100 comes with the Carbon Core Guard base. So let's go ahead and start with the GA2100 SKE-7A. Let's open this nice case and see what we have inside. All right, so right out of the box, the first thing that I noticed on this watch is the legibility. The hands are really bright and they stand out against that black dial. And you can see that the day of the week indicator is much more legible than on previous models. You can actually see it without squinting, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and give this one a close up look. And the first thing you might notice is the carbon core guard case, which you can see right through that transparent bezel. And we've got the black lettering around the edges where it says G-Shock and protection and labels of the four buttons. And then if we go ahead and compare this one to the original GA2100 that I have, you can see that the indices on the new one are blacked out with only a hint of white on the edges, which kind of adds to that almost blacked out feel. I certainly do like this new design, and you can see the difference in the hands too. On the older model, the hands are white, and you've got loom on there. On this newer model, the hands are actually black, and the only white part is the loom. So that's definitely a big difference as well. But I really do like this new design. And for modders, you know, this module can easily be removed from the transparent resin case and used in your various projects. So I'm quite sure we'll see some variations on this design online check out reddit or instagram where you can find some photographs of people who do a lot of modding on these watches and they even update the dial and the indices as well so yeah the transparent resin case and band will probably yellow over time almost certainly but at least i'll get a few good years out of it i mean it certainly is a handsome look the band itself is a bit stiff and you know kind of grippy but uh, it fits well, and it's got obviously the same slim profile as the original watch, including the stainless steel case back, these quick release bands here, which is nice, and the stainless steel buckle. So this watch sports an LED light in the bottom corner and also a light behind the digital display. And then if I shine my ultraviolet light on this for a couple seconds, you can see that the hands are bright and green, and you've got only the hour and the minute hand that are loomed. So no indices are loomed on this watch. But yeah, up close, this watch is really handsome looking. It's going to be a lot of fun to wear. And with the quick release bands, you can even swap out different bands for this. So the options are pretty much endless. But yeah, up close and personal, I'm really liking the looks of this watch. It's, it's pretty cool looking. The new dial is nice. Let's give this a quick wrist check. Again, I have a 6.75 inch wrist. 
and these 2100 models fit pretty well. They're slim, they don't overhang my wrist, and I definitely like the look of them. So it's kind of an acquired taste. Not a lot of people like the transparent bezels and bands, but I do, so I'm going to keep it. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox the new DW5600 SKE-7. Interestingly enough, this comes in a different box, although it still has the hexagonal metal case, which is kind of cool. So let's pop open the lid and see what we have inside here. And this is your typical 3229 module from Casio, so really nothing special on the module at all. You've got your basic stopwatch, alarm, hourly chime, that kind of thing. All right, so here we go. Again, this one has a negative display and a blacked out dial. So the only words you see on there are the labels for the pusher and Casio down at the bottom. It's a great look, and I do like the minimalistic approach that Casio took here. So get a couple close-up shots here. Here's the side with the pushers. Again, you have a stainless steel back. There are no quick release bands on this one, so you have your typical pin for attaching the bands to the lugs. But yeah, both of these are really good summer watches. I'll definitely be wearing these in the coming months. But yeah, this DW5600 is pretty sharp looking. And again, you can pull out that module and use it in different bezels and different bands, so you do kind of have a lot of options here. And this watch is sporting an electroluminescent backlight. So this one has a green light that shines through, which is pretty nice looking. And here it is on my 6.75 inch wrist. Again, this is your typical DW5600 watch, but it's got that uh, transparent bezel and band and kind of a blacked out look, which is really nice. So all in all, I'm glad I picked these two watches up. Again, I paid $110 for each one straight from the G-Shock website. So if you go online to eBay, you're definitely going to be overpaying for this. I guess it depends on how badly you want this model. Uh, hopefully they will keep uh, issuing it, so we'll see. But anyway, thanks a lot for joining me here at Watching Casio. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more Casio watch reviews, and we'll catch you later. Thanks again for joining me. Take care.